Hey guys, Pat Simone here. We're in the uh, shop today and we're going to be going over stringers for your stairs. In this Hollywood set model, um, this represents my platform slash deck. Um, in this model, I used 5 quarter by 6 uh, decking. Um, I, I always like to split my treads when they're outdoors to have a gap in between. A lot of guys use solid lumber and I don't like it because when the water sits on it, it'll start cupping your tread. There's no drainage. Um, just a just a preference. Also, I like closed toe kicks. I always put toe kicks on my uh, set of steps. I don't like them open. They're a little dangerous for kids getting their head stuck in or their arm, what have you. So, <clears throat> I'm going to teach you how to come up with the formulas. Very easy, all using... A construction master 5 calculator okay this guy looks so brand new because and that's probably roughly around five years old I said in my other video if you go on your phone guys you go on your app store okay there's tons of them and most of them are free and even if you decide to buy one it's a lot cheaper than that one um, I have one on here myself that was free I use it all the time uh, but for demonstration purposes, I think this one's a little easier to use, so. Alright guys, so, two important components, your run and your rise, okay? Your rise is from finished floor to finished platform, okay? Um, your run is the total distance you have for room with your staircase, so. Sometimes you're a little restricted, like a lot of good examples are in basements. Uh, like in my own house, my run was very short, so I had to go with a very tall tread, uh, I'm sorry, with a very tall riser and a very short tread. To bring back my run. Okay guys, so the taller your riser and the shorter your tread, your run becomes less. The shorter your riser, the longer your tread, your run becomes more. So I always like to stay in the neighborhood of um, seven inches, seven and a half when I can control it, okay? In New Jersey, your max riser height is eight and a quarter with a three eighths inch variance, meaning your, your uh, riser heights could vary between three eighths of an inch. Now guys, in my formula, I have uh, a, a 36 and a half inch rise, three feet, half inch, okay? Um, what I like to do first in any circumstance, I like to measure closest to my platform first, and I'll, and I'll tell you why, because in order for you guys to start cutting your uh, your stair treads, you have to uh, come up with your run. All right, guys. So, in the construction calculator, there's an eight-inch default riser height set in it already. So now we have to change it over to what we want. And like I said, I like to be around the seven-inch um, riser height. So now what we input is seven-inch conversion seven, and now the riser height is stored. Okay, and if you look at the number seven button, that says riser height, so that that's what converts it, okay? So now we know our rise to our Hollywood model is three feet, half inch. Then you hit the rise button, okay? Now after that, guys, all you keep doing is inputting, you just keep hitting your stair button, okay? So you hit stair, now there's a little uh, warning sign with an exclamation point. Now it's telling me that with our rise given, we cannot meet just a seven inch riser. So it's seven and five sixteenths, which is awesome. It's seven and a quarter heavy. Uh, seven and a quarter heavy is sixteenth, okay? Now we hit our stair button again. It's telling us we have five risers, okay? 
five risers includes your, your platform, okay? The front of your platform is also a riser, okay? You hit stair again. Now they're saying there's a remainder of 1 16th of an inch in our riser height, which is no big deal, okay? You can either lose it in your first riser or your last. We're not building cabinets, guys, here, okay? You hit stair again. We have a 10 inch stair tread and I, I like that guys because with the finished product you wind up with actually an 11 inch um, stair tread okay this is just framing you hit stair again the number of treads is four because so, we have five riser heights including our pla platform but only four treads okay then you hit um, stair again there's no remainders in the stair treads we're good there Okay, your stair stringer length is four feet, one inch, and nine sixteenths. So basically four feet, two. So that tells you you can't get eight footers because you'll have way too much waste. So you could get tens, okay? Then you um, hit stair again and it gives you your incline degree. So your incline degree is 36.18 degrees. And that's good to know because when you're doing your railings, you know what to cut them at. You hit stair again. Now your run is three foot four inches, okay? And that would be from the face of your platform or wherever you're connecting your stairs, okay? So now let's go back to the, down to the model and I'll tell you why that's important. Based on the riser uh, given that was inputted into the calculator, we have a run of, um, three feet, four inches. That's our total stringer length, okay? Now the reason why I said that was so important is because I initially initially measured right with the platform. Now let's say you're doing the deck and your grade pitches down away from the deck or it does the opposite, it pitches up. You wanna measure off, your plumb down from your deck, put a stake in the ground so you can measure Pull off three feet four inches, make a mark, okay? And then take your level off your platform from that mark and measure it down. And in my case, and in my case, I am exactly the same thing. I'm three feet, three feet half inch. So if you weren't three feet fat, uh, four inches, you would have to go back and re-input your information into the calculator to give you that point, okay? All right, so guys, we have a frame and square here, okay? And these are um, stair buttons, okay? They keep your marks for uh, your, your riser height and your tread length, okay? So in our calculator, it told us that our stair riser was seven and five sixteenths which is seven and a quarter heavy as sixteen and our tread was ten inches so all we would do is take our square okay make our marks now before you continue just take your tape measure and make sure that your buttons are Exactly where they should be, which mine are. Okay. Now, guys, when you slide your square down, you just make your square touch the intersection of this part right here where the riser meets your tread. Okay. Now guys, remember, five risers, four treads. So mark them so it's dummy proof, okay? So you have one tread, two treads, three treads, four, okay? This top one is what's gonna get connected 
to your platform or deck, okay? So this riser goes away and you cut this straight off, okay? The reason why I make the line all the way through, it's easier to cut with your saw to give you direction. Now guys, the bottom one, okay? bottom one we are using in the model one inch decking material okay five and a half by one inch okay so that sits on here like so so what you have to do is you have to knock off one inch on your bottom uh, riser or whatever material you decide to use if you're going to use inch and a half material you have to knock that off the bottom because then your riser heights won't be the same because if you take if you keep taking your pieces okay you're gonna follow each other seven and a quarter heavy and then when you get down here if you left it you're gonna be uh, eight and a quarter heavy heavy because you didn't knock off that one inch so your first tread your first riser you have to knock off whatever material you're using for your uh, finished product Okay, so put your square here, all right, we knock off our one inch, okay, make our line, and that's it, all right, and another thing guys, see, see between the cuts here how thick this remained? That's why I always use 2x12s for my stair stringers. up your cuts and there you go guys there is the next stringer all right guys well that's it uh, I hope this video helps you guys out there um, I hope I didn't go too fast either my uh, my family, my biggest critics are saying my videos are uh, going way too long. I tend to be a yapper, but all I'm trying to do is give you as much information as possible in a short, short video, okay? Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope I really helped you. Um, any questions, constructive, uh, constructive criticism, uh, comment down below. Any comments, uh, further information, comment um, I'm here for you guys my DIYers so uh, please subscribe hit that like button slam on that notification bell and I'll see you on the next one guys